Hey guys, it's Danny. So lately, it just seems to me that we had a lot of bad news. Well, it's time to see some good news for a change. Because there are some good news as well with my orchids, and I'm very excited to share them with you. So let's get to it. Some buds. This is my Catlia Tokyo Magic. We didn't see her in bloom for quite a while now, and I really was sure that this pseudobulb will not bloom because of the change in environment and the move and all of that. The sheath was just empty, dried, nothing in there, but all of a sudden I did see buds and they started to grow pretty, pretty fast. And she's adjusting to the new environment, growing roots, and will bloom pretty, pretty soon. But she's not the most exciting one I want to show you today. Here's another Kellya with buds. Again, I was sure this will never bloom this season or this year. But we have buds. This is the Vanagara Apple Blossom. You might call her Iwanagara. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but Ivanagara just sounds good to me. Cannot wait to see those blooms and to smell the fragrance. And by the way, some viewers told me that the fragrance on this one is pretty mild. It's not very strong. And indeed, it's it's not very strong, definitely noticeable. Uh, but if you compare it to a Bellina, let's say no. It's not quite like that. On mine we'll see the season and it does smell like freesias and honestly apple blossoms that's just my own opinion so I'm excited to see this one in bloom this year and hope for some great fragrance very very soon but still she's not the most exciting orchid that I want to show you today back there we have the vanilla orchid you might remember I received it and I potted it and it's been about three weeks or so two months I really don't remember it really didn't do anything and I know you asked for it so here's a little update it started to grow finally that shoot over there the leaf has grown bigger and also it straightened itself up it was kind of curly because of the transport but it's straightening up and I do see growth I do the other two that one there and this one they don't do much but that one has roots so I'm expecting that one to be okay as well not sure about this one because the leaf dried on top she still has something but I'm not yet sure however I think it caught I think the vanilla is okay but no not the most exciting piece of news for the day this is the Phalaenopsis bellina I was concerned about this flower spike if you remember I managed to broke her older flower spike and she's a sequential bloomer and that sucked I felt really bad. However, she produced another flower spike, but with the move, she actually paused the spike. It didn't do anything for a month or something. However, the spike just started to grow and it's already shaping up a bud there and I think another one. So we'll have a Bellina flower very, very soon. Very excited because she smells really, really great. So if you've never tried a Phalaenopsis Bellina species, Try it out and you won't regret it, trust me. However, it's uh, still not the most exciting piece of news for today. And neither is this one. <laughs> but this is the Dendrobium uh, Melody Velvet. Oh, I, okay, I just don't remember the name, but it's something to do with Melody and Velvet and something. It's the black, not the black, very dark purple one. Now, if you remember when I did the video about thoughts on water culture, uh, this guy had an eye that sadly rotted and I was not sure if he has another available eye, but he does. He's growing a new pseudobulb there. Now, you might notice I don't have too many uh, Phalaenopsis type dendrobiums, although I am on the hunt for one and you're gonna see the name in the picture on the screen right now I'm looking for that like it's gold really um, but yeah I'm not the biggest fan of them really unless they're special however I do like this one because he is such a dark dark color very close to black it's not black but it's a very dark color and me and dark colored flowers go together really well I just miss Vanda flowers don't you I, I do it seems like it's been forever since I saw one but behold this is the Pachara Pink, which is sending out a flower spike. Funny thing, I have natural light in this corner. At some point, the sun will come here. It's going to be dappled, but it is sun. However, I did install some lights here as well, which we'll talk about in a different video. That was just a sneak peek. So I have some lights here and the flower spike is actually not going towards my window. He's actually growing up. So hopefully we're gonna have quite a nice flower display. I'm not sure. I'm really curious to see how the flower display will be with the addition of the light, the artificial light, uh, but it seems to go towards the artificial light more than the sun at this point. It might be the fact that it's closer to it. It might be a little bit stronger. 
it's on in the morning and in the evening because I have sun in the I don't know late morning uh, main part of the day but in the morning and evening I don't have sun here so the flower spike is just growing up which I don't mind however the Vanda is not the most exciting piece of news but we're getting close so I'll show you the thing I'm most excited for right now and here we go do you know who this little guy is and he's not tiny at all this is the Kaisis Bractensis you guys I have this one for a year and a half when I got it, it had these two back bulbs. It produced this long one. He's sitting on the ground right now. Don't worry, he will be somewhere up. So he was not mature, I think. Last year it didn't bloom for me and I was so disappointed because I really want to see this guy's flower and smell it and everything. But this year it's producing a bud and I think you can already see there's something fat there. That's the bud. Let's see if I can give you a closer look. There you go. Inside, that is the bud. Now, I'm not sure if I will have one bud or multiple buds. I don't know. I don't care at this point. But I'm happy. I'm really happy because this one is supposed to be fragrant, beautiful, smelling like caramel or something. I don't know. I cannot wait. But yeah, exciting finally such a rewarding journey and um yeah if it's good i'm definitely gonna recommend you guys this orchid ah, it's nice to have some good news for a change isn't it well that's how this hobby is you can't always have good news and you can't always have bad news so it evens out thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this stay tuned for the flowers we'll go back to the normal what's in bloom videos once a month so yeah we're gonna talk about each and every one of them. If you'd like to see more orchid videos from me and stay up to date, simply subscribe to my channel. I post on a daily basis and twice a week, two videos per day, bonus. Feel free to leave me comments down below if you have further questions or suggestions for videos or you just wanna say hi. I always read comments and I always respond. You can also send me a letter if you want at the address that you see right here and in the description below. I need to fill my walls with <laughs> something. So if you are an artist or something and you want to draw me something, draw, that's a word, just feel free to send it to me. If you click on the left side of your screen, you're going to be directed to orchinature.com where you'll find care sheets, identification sheets, and also you can talk to us in the forum section. And on the right side of your screen, you can click to watch another orchid video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.